what's up everybody i finally got a camera i don't have to use my phone anymore because i was running out of memory so here's an update on the truck i got a 2-4 drop on it it ain't too low but that's something i wanted i didn't want it for it to be too low i didn't want to cut the frame right now so it rides better Front suspension was was pretty bad. Uh, upper and lower control arms were changed up. Tie rod ends were changed up. Well, it's a lot smoother now. What we're gonna do today, Balu? I don't know. You tell me. I'm gonna change this shit up. Finally. Ya me tiene alto, alto lo que me tiene. You can take it home. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody have a Chevy truck, they can have this. I see. It's not broken from... Oh, yeah. From here. And from here, también a ver si le pongo esta de una vez para que no me vaya a robar la tapa a alguien. Here is the replacement. Ya no es de tela, así para que no se me ensucie más. Let's see if it even matches the color. Interior color. A mm, little bit. It's like a new one. Mane? Like from a newer one. Was the pony case that para by the color? Light neutral tan or something. But I don't know. Is it supposed to have this on there or not? Yeah, and I'm over here tearing it up. Oops. Lo esto? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta glue it. Too bad. Should I say something, Valdo? It's your fault now. Now I gotta fix this. I don't drive a GMC. So? No, you drive a Chevy. Yeah, but I don't have that one. Alright, so I'm gonna have to take this piece apart. Ya le pegué esto. I messed it up, so I uh, glued it back on. So I gotta take this off and figure out how these go. Somewhere in there. These springs come in. Ahorita le voy a adivinar a ver qué tal queda. A ver si no la quebro esta. Lo bueno es que no quebre nada, así que y le vamos a poner esto acá arriba acá esto aquí del lado 
Alrighty. Got that fire extinguisher, man, just in case. Se queman las tortillas. Hay que apagarla. Alright, so I think I kind of figured out más o menos cómo va esta cosa. So I have the new lid right here. Move my seat forward. Get his way. You want me out? Bottom? They're too low or what? Pues dale tú, güey. Nah, Sí, todas se mueven. So what do you want for me to do then? Si no se mueven. Porque tú sabes cómo moverlo. I'm telling you how to do it. Just, yeah. just agarra. Ahorita, güey, güey. Let me finish this. So, pretty much clip this on here. I think I'm going to have to drill some holes. Maybe there and there. Actually, you know what? No. All right. So, these little springs, tienen the little, I guess the crooked side is what it says on there. It's a crooked side. It's a crooked side. Lo vas a meter ahí mismo. Ya se cayó. Ya tiene dos hoyitos. Uno para cada spring. que me salgo y muevo el asiento para pegarle aquí poquito para que se meta más ya nomás se pone esta para atrás First, 
to let me help Balu because he always needs help on something. So let's see. ¿Qué quieres, Balu? Está bien, ¿no? ¿No qué querías que te ayudara? Siempre anda molestando el baldo. As you see the lights we took off on this one. Hay un tanque de agua, nomás le faltan los pescados ahí. Parece que trae agua del Harvey todavía allí. Ok, so I went ahead and installed the tailgate lock already. My battery had died, so I had to charge it. So meanwhile, I went ahead and did it. So it's pretty easy. And it's pretty convenient. That way, you don't get your tailgate stolen. Put the key in there. Got my bike ready for critical mass. Close it. Lock it. That's it. So that's it for today. It was just two things. The center console lid, which is a big deal for me because every little bump when I was riding like this. It was making a lot of noise and well, I mean, I couldn't use it now Just open it put some stuff in there Close it shut. Don't gotta worry about anything falling off And I can finally put my arm here. So that's a big plus and the other thing was uh, tailgate lock couldn't record because my battery was dead but I mean that one was pretty easy anyway, so Thanks for watching guys.